Okay, hello, good evening everyone. Uh, thank you for attending tonight's board meeting. My name is Brad Gottschall, I am the township manager and in typical fashion I'm going to give a brief uh, overview of tonight's agenda, uh, particularly for the benefit of those who may be watching at home this evening. Jumping on the agenda to new business, the board will take action on a change order for the Heroes Grove Amphitheater Project Phase 2. Next, the board will take action on a matter of personnel which is a settlement agreement and a general release. After this, on the agenda, we have two resolutions pertaining to the 2021 budget, Resolution 20-35, adopting the municipal budgets and establishing rates of taxation, and Resolution 20-36, adopting the ongoing compensation program for those employees not covered by a collective bargaining agreement. Lastly, before payment of the bills of the Township and Authority and final announcements, the Board will ratify an agreement of sale allowing for the purchase of necessary land related to the Locust Lane and Fairmont Drive traffic signal project. And at this moment, all the members of the Board are seated and prepared to conduct business. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will call this meeting of the Lower Paxton Township Board of Supervisors to order. And I uh, would like to ask Supervisor Zumas if he would lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this point, uh, I would like to uh, entertain approval of minutes for the meeting of September 15th, 2020 budget and business meetings. Is there a motion to approve those minutes? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes from the 9-15-20 budget meeting and 9-15 business meeting. So moved, is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded, all in favor, aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, at this point, I will notice, uh, or I, I will notice, <laughs> uh, give notice uh, that uh, uh, Paul is on the phone, uh, uh, being very cautious about uh, the COVID-19 spread, so uh, the record should show uh, that Supervisor Navarro is present for the meeting. Having said that, now is the time for public comment. Uh, public comment is limited to items that are not on the agenda tonight. Anybody wishing to speak on an item on the agenda will be given an opportunity to do so at that time. Would anybody like to address the board under public comment? I would also like to add that the board met in executive session prior to this meeting and will do so following. Seeing no public comment, uh, we are going to take item 9A under new business uh, and advance that to uh, the top of the agenda uh, because uh, we have uh, a speaker on the subject. This is action on Change order number two uh, with EIC Construction LLC for the Heroes Grove Amphitheater Project. So, Christine, if you would come forward. And uh, we've moved this up because uh, uh, we are required under the governor's recent orders to limit the meeting room to 10 people. So we're having individuals who are here to speak, speak first so they can then depart the room and allow members of the public in. Thank you for being here, Christine. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here um, and for your consideration of uh, this change order. So phase two of Heroes Grove is under construction, as you're aware. A couple of things have come up in the midst of construction, in, um, and so that's what this change order is for. In relation to the stage roof, the uh, required and desired electrical outlets involve an additional cost from the uh, the roof manufacturing co fabrication company so that is sorry four thousand four hundred and seventy dollars and then um, 
there is a new sign uh, base that will be constructed at the existing Heroes Grove entrance sign and the block, um, it has been decided to change that block to match the, the seat walls and the storage shed and there's an additional charge of a couple, 2,666 for that. There is funding, the funding for this entire project is from a number of grants and there is a there is sufficient funding from those grants to cover these change orders. So I uh, would be happy to answer any questions. I will give a little bit of an update. So we, w we did have an issue with our roof. It was determined that when the final roof was designed that the existing foundations under the stage were not adequate. So we had to go back, redesign new foundations, uh, take out existing pavers. They are now um, building the new uh, foundations for the columns for the piers and the um, roof should be here in February and um, so that was a little bit of a delay in the project but uh, it is moving forward and we should be complete by the beginning of the spring for all the programs next year. Great. Christine, quick question. Are we just relocating the uh, pavers or are we putting New we are pavers putting new in pavers place. in. We're That's putting new pavers in place because to take them all out, there just is going to be damage to them. So it'll be all new pavers, including all new engraved pavers. Because some of those original pavers were kind of hard to read anyway. So I know. Good. They do deteriorate over time. So it is, it is a positive to the amphitheater overall that it will look new and fresh and all the pavers will be in good condition. Yes. Thank you. Any other questions? <clears throat> Okay, seeing none, is there a motion to approve the change order number two for the amphitheater? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we approve action on change order number two with ECI Construction LLC for the Heroes Grove Amphitheater Phase Two project in the amount of $7,136. So moved, is there a second? Second. <clears throat> moved and seconded, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 <clears throat> Thank you, Paul. And uh, just by way of explanation, this is all grant money. This isn't township taxpayer money that's exactly. being spent on this so that right. folks understand that uh, the Heroes Grove uh, Committee uh, has secured grant funding for each phase of this project. This is phase two. This is phase two. Good. All right. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Thank you, you, Christine. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice holiday. Thank you. You too. Okay, with that, we'll, we'll go back to item six, chairman and board member comments. Do board members have any comments? Mr. Chairman, I just have one. Um, I think the board would like to uh, send their condolences to the family of uh, Richard McNeil from Linglestown Fire Company and Lee Whitman from Colonial Park Fire <coughs> Company. Um, both of these gentlemen served over 60 years apiece in each of those fire companies. They're definitely legends. And unfortunately, the past two weeks, um, they passed away and COVID with complications, so. Yes, we are very grateful for their many decades of service. Uh, hopefully everybody's thoughts and prayers will be with their families at this time. Does anybody else have any comments? Well, I visited uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus on Saturday, but since uh, our supervisor to my right, Lindsay, was uh, proactively involved. Maybe you can give everybody a quick update as to what transpired oh. Friday and Saturday. Yeah, it was the Laura Paxson Community Foundation did the drive-through, and um, we had 126 cars that went through between Friday and Saturday, um, and we figured out because we did um, have reservations and then we had cars that didn't have a reservation and we asked how many children were each car so we figured it was about 329 children and um, we even had dogs that came through <laughs> <laughs> okay. I asked how many children were in the car and they said just the dog so <laughs> but it was it was a beautiful evening Friday and Saturday was even warmer so I think between the drive through Santa with uh, Lower Paxton which was probably about 150 cars and then what we had with the Lower Paxton uh, Community Foundation um, worked out great. So hopefully next year we'll have the tree lighting for Lower Paxton and we'll be able to have the Kris Kringle Market in Linglestown. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, hopefully next holiday season we'll be back to normal. Yeah, and if hopefully. I could uh, give a big thank you again to Nye's Florist um, for bringing their sled and to Huffman Ford for bringing their two big red trucks. Um, those two businesses are very community here in Lower Paxton Township, and we appreciate everything that they do. Plus, they both businesses donated funds to help uh, make that a success. Any other board member comments? Mr. Judd, Mr. Navarro, who maybe can't hear me. Oh. Uh, I would just say that uh, that Nye's Road, uh, the light at Nye's in Devonshire is now working. I came through there today. Yep, so did I. They look awesome. And it's awesome. not just flashing. And those of us who live one block off Nye's Road are very pleased that traffic is back on Nye's Road. So. Okay, with that, uh, the manager's report. Mr. Manager. Uh, yes, sir. Members of the board, just two uh, items this evening. Um, so, as we all know, we are to be expecting some type of weather uh, this weekend, uh, including some snow, um, a rather large uh, incident if, if, it, uh, if the forecast holds true. Uh, but in any event, um, waste management has notified us uh, and uh, the township has granted permission uh, starting Wednesday, uh, tomorrow, uh, that the uh, collection for solid waste uh, will begin at 5 a.m. Uh, the township has put out uh, notices on that uh, on our social media, on our website, and through the mass notification system. So beginning at 5 a.m., waste management will begin collecting uh, trash uh, on the Wednesday route, uh, and they will be trying as much as they can to circle back through the community uh, to collect um, any uh, properties that may not have gotten their trash out in time. Um, or, or, you know, late or whatever, um, to try to collect as much as possible. Uh, and then throughout the day, they will be notifying us as to their whereabouts, uh, particularly with regard to Thursday's collection, um, you know, as long as um, they are able to get through Wednesday's collection okay. Uh, they hope to uh, be uh, servicing the Thursday route with no issue, but if need, uh, they may push that into Friday uh, if need be. So we'll keep the residents informed as to Thursday's collection as well as this storm progresses. And as always, we want people to keep, please keep your vehicles off the roads if at all possible. Don't park them there. It's hard for the plows to get through. Uh, and Bill, I think we want people to uh, shovel out your fire hydrants as well. Uh, we need to keep those clear. So everybody needs to pitch in here. Uh, one other uh, reminder as well, uh, the Municipal Center will be closing uh, for a half day on Christmas Eve, the 24th, and will also be closed all day on Christmas Day, obviously the 25th, um, and then also it will be closing on New Year's Day for the whole day on January 1st. That is all I have. Are okay. you open all day on New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Anything else? That is all I have. That's all. Thank you. We have no items under old business, and we have conducted 9A. So we will jump to 9B. We need to take action on a settlement agreement and general release. Mr. Gottschall. Uh, yes, before the board this evening is the uh, settlement agreement and general release. This is a personnel matter. Um, the agreement has been vetted by the, um, the solicitor and is prepared for board action this evening. Okay. Would there be a motion on action on the settlement agreement and general release? Um, Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the settlement agreement and general release, agenda item 9B, personnel matter. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. Any, qu <clears throat> any questions or comments? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Now, under 9C, we need to take action on Resolution 20-35, this adopting and establishing the 2021 municipal budgets and taxation rates. And, all right, come on, document, let's open up. Oh, boy. 
Uh, mm. uh, okay, I don't think we want that. No. There we go. <clears throat> Mr. Godshaw. Something like that. Uh, yes, uh, supervisors, uh, the, uh, the 2021 municipal budgets included in your packets stand as presented to the uh, Board of Supervisors last week during your workshop session and also as advertised to the public through general circulation. This resolution approves of the $29.1 million spending plan which is excluding the budgets of the authority and pension funds uh, and establishes the real estate tax levy at 2.0565 mills, which is broken out to 1.554 mills for general purposes, 0.4615 mills for fire protection, and 0 0.041 mills for library funding, uh, keeping these tax rates the same as 2020's rates with, of course, the authority board having, having taken separate action to reduce the stormwater fee from 128 to $104 per year. So I would be happy to answer any questions the board may have on this. <clears throat> I believe we have discussed this at length for many, many months. <laughs> uh, board members, any comments or questions? I would just like to see that next year we don't take prior year cash in order to balance the budget, so. Well, we were successful, and I do want to offer uh, congratulations to Mr. Godshall and to our department directors. Members of the public may or may not know or recall that last June, as the COVID crisis was running red hot, uh, and unemployment had spiked to historic levels in the township. Uh, the township tightened its belt to the tune of almost a million dollars in order to uh, try to end the year as close to being in the black as possible. And that, uh, plus I, I think we owe a, a note of congratulations uh, to our county commissioners, uh, Jeff Haste, uh, Mike Priest, and George Hartwick, uh, the county did fully fund our uh, COVID-19 reimbursement request. Uh, I believe we had the largest uh, funding for that in the county. Uh, that and the belt tightening uh, allowed us to end the year uh, in, in shape good enough that we can go into 2021 without a tax hike. And I know it had been a priority of this board to not raise property taxes in the middle of a pandemic uh, when we had so many people who were out of work, unemployed, and otherwise struggling. So um, as a result of the effort of all of the above and members of this board, uh, we have been able to uh, produce a budget for 2021 that fulfills uh, the township's needs, some of its wants, and do so without a tax hike. And as Mr. Godshall mentioned, the sewer authority has reduced the stormwater fee uh, and sewer rates are remaining the same. So overall, a bit of a reduction for uh, residents here going forward into 2021. With that, if there are no questions or additional comments, is there a motion on resolution 2020-35? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we adopt resolution 2020-35, adopting and establishing 2021 municipal budgets and taxation rates. So moved, is there a second? Second. Seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And the 2021 budget has been adopted. And now we're going to make a hopefully successful attempt at getting back to the agenda. <laughs> All right, we need to take action now on uh, resolution 2020-36 this maintaining a compensation program for employees not covered by a collective bargaining unit. Mr. Godshall, once again. Yes, members of the board, thank you very much. Uh, this resolution as presented maintains the annual compensation program and performance appraisal system for the year beginning January 1, 2021, and the salary and benefit report for administrative employees prepared by myself uh, in consultation with the human resource manager. Uh, action on this report and program update 
is taken annually and covers how compensation is provided to those employees not covered by one of the township's four collective bargaining units, uh, or approximately, we're talking about 26 employees here. Um, so the report is prepared. The resolution is, is also prepared and ready for board action this evening. Thank you. Questions, <coughs> comments, board members? Okay. Seeing none, is there a motion to approve resolution 2020-36? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the action on resolution 20-36, maintaining a compensation program for employees not covered by a collective bargaining unit. It is so moved. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Got it. Mr. Navarro as well. So. We will move on to item 9E, this taking action to ratify an agreement of sale and temporary easement for the Locust Lane Fairmont Drive traffic improvement project. And for those anxiously awaiting, uh, this is for the installation of a traffic signal at said intersection. Mr. Godshall, uh, we're purchasing right away here? Yes, sir. Uh, as, as was done a couple of meetings ago, in order to keep this uh, project moving as expeditiously as possible, um, I went ahead and uh, executed another sale, uh, another agreement of sale uh, for easement and also a temporary easement between the township and the Dauphin County Area Vocational Technical School Authority. Uh, the agreement and the temporary easement provide the school authority uh, $7,100 in compensation for that land. And at this point, the agreement uh, requires ratification by the board to uh, fully uh, take place. And this keeps us on pace for having this project done in the early spring? Yes, yes, it's keeping that pace. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Board member, questions, comments? Hearing none, is there a motion to ratify the agreement of sale and temporary easement for the Locust Lane project? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I move we do, in fact, ratify the agreement of sale and temporary easement for the Locust Lane Fairmont Drive traffic, traffic Improvement Project, as outlined and by Mr. Gacho and posted on the agenda. So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. second. Oh, sorry, no. Okay. Jump ball. Who gets it? He can take it. Okay. Seconded <laughs> by Mr. Zumas. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 And that takes us to payment of bills of Lower Paxton Township and the Lower Paxton Township Authority. Mr. Treasurer. Mr. Chairman, uh, I move that we approve the payments of the bills for the Lower Paxton Township and Lower Paxton Township Authority. It is so moved. Is there a second? I'll second it. Moved and seconded. All in favor, aye. 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 And uh, any other announcements before we adjourn for the year? Some will be happy to see 2020 move into the rearview mirror for a lot of reasons. Uh, our next board meeting actually will be on Monday, January 4th, 2021. 20, Aha, there's an error. Oh. <laughs> it's Monday, <laughs> January 4th, 2021 <laughs> at 7 p.m. Uh, under the code of uh, townships of the second class, uh, we are required to hold our reorganization meeting on the first Monday of January, which is why the meeting is on a Monday, not on a Tuesday. So we will see everybody back here in this room at 7 o'clock on Monday, January 4th, 2021. And with that, I would like to wish everyone a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, whatever you're celebrating. Happy New uh, Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Please stay safe, uh, and we'll see you all in 2021. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. 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 Is there a second? Second. All in favor, aye. aye. Meeting adjourned. Aye.